Hey, so um, it was requested that I would show my little pin collection, and this is my first batch of pin collections, and I'm going to have another one. I'm starting to gain slowly on that one, but um, I'm going to show you this one. So if you like that sort of thing, whoop, stay tuned now. <laughs> Creative Chica here, aka Tony, and um, somebody, I believe it was Homes Homesteading in Holland, she had requested that I show my pin collection. So, hey, here I am. I'm going to show my pin collection. So, um, what happened was, I bought this little container at the Dollar General. I don't know if I showed you this or not. It was like three dollars, and I thought it was cute because it's pale pink. What does it say on there? I don't even know what the heck it says on there. Let's see. Oh, flowers and love. That's what it says. So I thought it was cute. It's like a little pale. And um, I guess I can just like pull these out. I will just pull them out one by one and then I'll put them back in. <laughs> anyway, um, I filled it up with the stones that you get at the Dollar General. They're, um, they're pink and white stones. Let me see if I can get some out of here. But they're like these little stones here. And they were like $2.50 for... A large package and I don't even know how many stones was in there but um, that's not too bad and I you know I just like that because I didn't want to really put them in styrofoam and I didn't want to put them I don't know like or just like let them sit in there because this way they're kind of like sitting in there and they don't move around so um, let's start over here so I got me like this little unicorn pin in the pink fuzzy got that I got the feather it's like a pink feather and I love these I got more of these um, I have this little donut pin cute now I'm thinking um, I might get a smaller container and put my smaller pins in because this is kind of like getting drowned in all these big pins so I might do that that's what I'm thinking about doing I have this little donut pin I have the little pink heart squishy pin I just love these They're so cute I got the pink donut. It's got the sprinkles on it. And the blue squishy. So cute. Oh, and I got the purple squishy with the sprinkles. I found this one at the Dollar General. It was a little bunny rabbit, so I had to pick that up. So cute. I got the little pink diamond one that, you know, we have hauled. A lot of people had bought these. So pretty. I don't use any of these pins, y'all. They're just for decoration. I don't, I mean, some people may write with them. I don't, I don't really want to do that. So, anyway, I got the feather. It's got like the turquoise and the purple. So pretty. What have I got on my eye? Get away, get away, get away. Okay, and I got this fuzzy pom-pom one. It's like a purplish pinkish color I guess I found that at uh, Dollar Tree I got the pink squishy donut so pretty I found this rose it was like um, they were on clearance it's like you could get two pins for a dollar at Dollar General so y'all should go check Dollar General because sometimes they really have some awesome buys there and some cute stuff that you cannot find at Dollar Tree and also Family Dollar too they have some cute stuff there too guys I mean we don't always have to shop at Dollar Tree now do we or do we <laughs> anyway I thought that was pretty it's green it matches my wall back here mm -hmm. And so this one is from Bonnie at Bonbon's Hall. She sent that to me in friend mail. A little cactus, so cute. And like I said, I'm going to buy like a little container and put all of those small pins in. This one, I believe, is from, and I think it lights up or something, Amy Galman. She sent me like um, a box from Holler, friend mail, and a lot of nice stuff too. And I believe she sent this one to me. So cute. 
And this little feather pen, it's got polka dots on it. Like I said, I found it down there. It was the only lonely one in there with the other pens. And I said, you know what? That is kind of cute. So I picked that up. It's kind of pretty and dainty. I like it. And then another feather pen with the pink and the blue. I didn't buy any of like uh, like the solid silver and stuff. I didn't buy that. I like color. <laughs> That's why I bought. And then I have this fuzzy one. Fuzzy wuzzy. That one probably came from the Dollar Tree, I'm sure. So, and this is my little bucket. It's got like the little stones in there. It's heavy too, y'all. So anyway, so that's my little uh, pin collection of my first little batch of pins that I have. And I'm thinking I might, you know, like get one of those uh, longer uh, galvanized looking thing, uh, flower pots like at uh, Dollar Tree. They have those in the spring. I do have some of the round ones. They're much bigger. And I thought, well, you know, I could paint those and decorate those and, and put my pins in those too. So that's an idea too. So anyway, there's so many like ideas that you can do with these pins. I mean, they're just so darn cute, y'all. And I, I just, I don't know. I just love them. Y'all got me addicted to them, y'all. It's your fault. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to stick my pins back in here one by one. And I will catch you all on the next uh, video and appreciate everybody for watching. And please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.